Hey guys, welcome to Quickies from Top Guns out of Terre Haute, Indiana. Do you open carry or do you conceal carry and why? Don't hesitate to post down below. We're going to talk a little bit about the advantages and disadvantages both directions. You know, one of the best arguments for open carry is going to be that you do have somewhat quicker access to your firearm. So, especially if you're a police officer or someone that it's already presumed that you have a firearm, it makes probably the most sense to put that firearm in a location that's extremely easy to get to, quick to get to, and quick for the draw. However, for those of us that are not in law enforcement, one of the biggest assets we can have on our side in any defensive situation is the element of surprise. And so that's why you'll see a lot of folks who have done a decent amount of training, you won't catch them typically carrying a firearm on the outside. You'll see them carrying a firearm on the inside because they don't want to paint themselves as a target. If you think about it, if someone's going to come into a, an establishment where you're located and they're there to do ill will, they're probably going to wait for opportunity uh, to basically take advantage of any major threats that are there while that person or individual is not paying attention. So if you happen to be that individual and you're, they're going to wait till you're not paying attention, they have you know, any brains at all, and they're going to take you out when you don't have the ability to respond to it. You know, I hear a lot of people say, hey, I would rather them target me than someone else. But the reality is, if you're there as a defender, you can only defend other people if you're still alive. So it's not a selfish act to make sure that you are staying alive uh, yourself so that you can potentially defend others. So it's important that you don't paint yourself as the first target in the room, and that you are able to main, maintain that, that uh, element of surprise so that you can hopefully neutralize any threat that presents itself. If you have some better arguments both directions, again, I do understand there are great arguments for carrying it outside the waistband, especially if you're on the farm and things of that nature, but we're talking about in a self-defense situation. Don't hesitate to post your thoughts down below. Take care.